So these cards right here on Amazon, you can purchase them and you can use those cards to fulfill a service that like nobody knows about right now. I'm going to get right into it and just tell you the things that you need to purchase off of Amazon. They're all available. You can purchase them. They can get there in like two to three days to your house or your office or wherever you want to ship them to. But basically, here's what you're going to need to do this to make money. And then I'll go into like how you actually make the money from it. So first things first, you're going to need a pack of FD258 cards, about like a pack of 50 of them or 25, however many you want to purchase. I suggest going to a store called Crime Scene. Uh, Crime Scene is the name of the store on YouTube. You can go there. You can purchase a bunch of fingerprint cards. We send some of our clients there all the time. Next thing you're going to need is a card holder right here. So that card holder is going to be used to hold the cards so that this way you can fulfill the actual thing you're going to do to make the money very easily. Second thing is you're going to need fingerprint ink. So fingerprint ink is what you're going to be putting on your customer's fingers and you're going to be placing them onto the card. Third thing is you're going to need something called retabs. So retabs are in case you make a mistake when you're fulfilling the actual service, you can put like a little sticker on it and you can just re-roll the whole finger. And I know this is not kind of making sense on like, how am I making money from this right now? Like, what is this actual, what are these things that I'm buying off Amazon? Like, I'm going to get to it. Don't worry in a second. And this thing you're going to need is literally just a pen. And you're going to be using these items to fulfill something called a fingerprint card service. Now, here's what you need to actually make money from this. And we have a ton of people that are like making money from this right now. The industry is booming. It works like oddly, oddly well. Um, you know, it's it's very easy to get like jobs. It's very easy to get clients and things like that. And they pay honestly pretty well because you're performing the service and you're charging for the service, but you're also going to be charging for your time traveling to and from the customer or the appointment. So it's very similar to like, you know, DoorDash, Uber and things like that. However, you're not giving up a portion of your money to those companies who are going to be sending you the customers because it's so easy to get customers because this industry is booming right now and there's not a lot of professionals that are performing this service. So a couple of questions you might have right off the bat is, you know, why do people need these cards? Number one, Number two is how do I learn how to actually do these cards? Like, is it easy to learn that? Like, is it that simple to just take somebody's fingerprints and roll them onto a card like that and be able to give it to the customer? Yes, it is quite honestly that simple. So there's going to be a link down below with a, a video on like how to actually, you know, take people's fingerprints and roll them onto the cards. It's pretty easy. You practice on yourself, a loved one or like a friend two or three times and you pretty much get it down pat. However, the reason that people need these cards is because they need them for background checks. So the type of people that are going to need these cards done, and I'll show you an example of a card that I have on my desk right now. It looks like this. This is what like a completed fingerprint card looks like. And the people who are going to need these are people who are getting jobs, certifications, permits, licenses, and things like that. There are no certifications that you need in order to do this for that person who's going to need that service. You don't need to take a test. It's not something that's like federally regulated. It's not something that, you know, you need education on to be able to do. It's quite honestly just purchasing these materials, taking them, using a few test methods on yourself or friends or family or a loved one, making sure that you're like comfortable and confident performing the service. And then you're going to need to set these things up in order to actually get jobs so that you could start making money. And the three things that you're going to need in order to get jobs, start making money is number one, a car to travel to and from the customers, because this is going to be on like a mobile basis. So just like those, you know, business opportunities or side hustles where it's like Uber, DoorDash and things like that, you're going to need a car to be able to travel there. Do you need a car 100%? No, you could walk there. If you're in a city, like you could get a little briefcase, put this stuff in there. You could walk there. So you don't absolutely need a car, but if you're anywhere in like, you know, a suburb or like a rural community and you're going to be doing this on the side, like you are going to need a car to be able to travel to the customer. So that's number one. That's the first thing that you're going to need. The second thing is you're going to need some type of phone. So you're going to need a phone to be able to take phone calls from, for people who need the services. So it's not like an app where you just log in and you get a company to send you the jobs. It's a lot better than that because you're the one that's performing the service yourself and you're pretty much creating your own destiny when it comes to it. So as much as you want to work or as much as you want to be available for, you can be available for. So you're not going to be 
at the mercy of these companies that are sending you these jobs and paying you very little to be able to perform the service, you're the one controlling everything, which is good, which in this day and age, you want as much money as you're going to make, you want to keep it. So it's not how much money you can make or you can net in revenue. It's going to be how much money you can keep at the end of the day. And that's the second thing you're going to need is just some type of working phone so that you could take these inquiries and you can start getting these customers. Third thing that you're going to need is going to be a Google My Business. So the way you get jobs for a side hustle or a side business or something on the side like this is just by listing your service on Google My Business. You don't need like a storefront to do this. You don't need anything special. Like I said, you don't even need like really an LLC, although you should have one just to protect yourself legally. You don't need any of that stuff. A simple Google My Business to be able to do this and get people to know that you are offering the service. Believe it or not, you set that up. You don't even have reviews or anything like that. People are going to start calling you for this. And if you're watching this right now and you're already doing this service, you've probably gotten phone calls already. So most of your sales or most of your customers for performing this type of service is going to come from your Google My Business, probably about like 70% of the customers. You don't need a website or anything crazy like that, although it does help. But it's just as simple as buying these materials on Amazon that I went over in the beginning of the video, doing a few test runs on yourself or somebody else to making sure that you're confident in performing the service, and then just making the service known to your local area that you perform it. So it's very similar to other side hustles or side businesses where you do something that's a very niche service that there's not a lot of competition with. And when they call you, they're pretty much sold on the phone. You just have to price it accordingly. And that's the last thing that we're going to go over is pricing. So industry standard pricing to be able to perform this service and capture somebody's fingerprints on a card like this is anywhere between $30 and $55. Now, that doesn't sound like a lot. You're going to have to do a lot of customers to make like, you know, $1,000, $2,000 a week or something like that to supplement your income. However, you make all your margin and you make all your money traveling to and from the customer because this is a service that requires your time. So when your customers call you and when you're getting inquiries, sure, 30 to $55, whatever you want to charge to perform the actual card. But let's say that person is five, seven, 10 miles away. You're going to charge either by mile or you're going to charge by time or you just set a price where you could charge depending on how far away they are. So Normal charging for mobile services when it comes to performing fingerprinting services is nothing below 100 bucks just to walk out the door. It's very industry standard. Most people pay it right away. Most people pay it pretty easily without you having any type of sales skills. However, you can go above and beyond that and you could charge 200 You could charge $300. Depends how far away the person is. It also depends how many cards they need. Some people need like 14 cards because they're sending them to 14 different places. It sounds crazy, but they actually do need it. So you can kind of make your own destiny when it comes to charging how much you're going to charge when you're traveling to and from the customer. Now, it's not just individual people who need this either. So individual people who need background checks for jobs, certifications, permits, and licenses, things like that. Sure. Yes, 100%. However, there's also a lot of businesses who hire employees or who have people that are working within their company that need these cards to send them out to states or other agencies that need a background check conducted. So if you get a call from a business owner or if you get a call from a company like an HR rep from some company and they say, hey, I need 15 of our employees that need these cards done. They need three cards apiece. You just pick a date and a time to go travel to that company, perform all the services, and now you have 15 people times between 30 and 50, 55 bucks, whatever you're doing per card, plus the mileage there. So you're making all your money in like one job like that. And that may happen once or twice per month. Again, it depends how available you are. It depends how good you are at selling your service. As you get more confident, you'll be more confident in raising your prices. And then it just depends on your network and who you have in you that is going to be calling you back for repeat business and things like that. So it's very easy. It's very simple. Nobody really knows about this. It's on the rise. 
it's catching a lot of traction and it's quite simply as easy as purchasing those materials on Amazon, making sure you have a car, a phone, set up a Google My Business. All those links are down below in order to know how to do that. All of it is totally free information on this channel. Check it out if you want to make more money, if you want something to supplement your income. It's really good. I suggest that you do this right away before it gets saturated. That's it. Check out my other videos for more information on this and see you on the next one.